Golly. Look at the hood. Like I said, we went to have lunch, we found another car, and we're buying it. So we just showed up, and I'll show you what we're getting. So as you can see, the bumper's a little rough. It's been loaded and unloaded. The paint's not the greatest, but it's a true 98 in TSI. It's got the confetti interior. Oh, it's pretty cool. Well, we got the Talon home. Lincoln, what are you doing? He's unhooking it. So we got it home. This car has always been one of those cars that I thought was just super cool. Um, that didn't obviously get a lot of respect, in my opinion. And being the last year and being a hard top, I think it's just going to be a super awesome addition. And I can't wait to get started on it. So we didn't expect to buy two cars today, but we bought two cars today. We bought the Talon and we bought that mint 95 er4 got the dsm home obviously it runs just poorly we can hear a noise coming from the intake manifold so confused now it's holding 20 pounds that's ken's making some gurgling there ain't no mace massive vacuum leak i can hear crazy and now pressure tested it this morning it holds 20 pounds so we think it's vacuum related so we are currently pulling off the intake manifold to try to get this car figured out <laughs> I mean, it's a nice unit, the intake, I mean, it bolts together, it's two-piece. Those lower ones are going to be interesting. That's why I got the extension. Right. This one and this one. Oh, nice, typical DSM. No clip, zip tied in. Yeah. Just that, now we got to get those back ones. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea today to take these to D-Torx. Just have them clean and them. Have them float them. 
What sucks about this side is the coil packs are in the way. They relocated them under the manifold. Tell the head's fresh too. Don't mind me. Did I tell you I think I decided on what to do with this one, like color wise? I'm on this one uh, now. Yeah, I can't even get to them that one. Alright. Last one. Come on. Hose let me. Oh, it's got the nice little oh. So as you can see, the harness is a uh, typical DSM kind of stuff, but inside the head, it looks okay. The head doesn't appear to be ported. Looks like the valves are new. But uh, this hose clamp. And the hose barb fitting right there had that hose clamp on it for the vacuum source for the brake booster. So I say we get this intake off and pull it out and clean it up. We'll pull this these little um, T head bolts out, these little Allen heads, and see if that gasket's not leaking. Well, we got the intake off. We pulled it apart. It is a two-piece manifold. We found some pretty substantial oil buildup in here. Not sure if that's really caused an issue. We cleaned it up, re-ringed it, retorqued it, cleaned everything up. Reteflon all the uh, vacuum ports. I don't really know if any of that was our issue, but we're gonna go back together with it and see if we can't figure anything else out. Hopefully we jiggled something, but man, going through this harness, I think a lot of the problems are in the harness. The PTU is not even grounded. Um, the cam angle sensor plugs, not even pins. And as you can see, it's just, it's just a mess. Well, we don't know what we did, but it's running better.
probably typical beer. I'm gonna go. Yep, yeah, hood did stick out. See? Yeah, we... Look at the hood. It's dripping off the hood. It was uh, typical. That's why that zip tie was on the dipstick. I forgot to put back in it. Holy crap. See, same problems, baby. When it runs, good. When it runs right, it's fast. Jeez. It just needs some love. It just needs a little love.